It's time now for our big chat, and we welcome in Sacred Heart running back Malik Grant. Malik, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me again. Now, this week, what a big win. Sacred Heart coming away with a 37-34 win against SFU on the road on Saturday. So, you know, after dropping that first game at Wagner, which I'm sure was disappointing, you go back on the road, you beat the preseason favorite. How much did that kind of lift morale a little bit with the team in the locker room? Oh, uh, well, I'll say it definitely lifts a lot of lifted a lot of morale with the team but you know we still have a goal at the end of the day and that's to go one and know each and every day through our practice and then one and know every saturday so that's really it it's no like being st francis didn't like put us over the top like oh that's our super bowl no we still have a goal every single day and that's 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 it and to get to one and know last saturday you had to come back you're down 10 points twice over the span of that game so you're battling them you're battling the elements there was a lot going on how did the team kind of keep that belief on the sidelines uh just the just the guys on the sideline you know coach travels about what 70 guys on the other guys on the sideline who who might not play a lot or who play just a little you know them keeping the energy for the guys that are in in those critical moments you know just uh, the offense supporting the defense when the defense is out there and the defense supporting the offense when the offense is out there, it just played a very major role and a big part in our success in believing in each other. And, and you know, I know part of the, the story of the season, really since the spring, has been trying to find that consistency at quarterback. And Rob McCoy had a, an incredible game. What, what was it like being out there with him leading the way on offense? Uh, it was a great experience to be out there with Rob, you know, um, we needed someone to step up at the quarterback position for sure, and that he definitely stepped up for surely, making really, really big throws and great throws in critical moments. And or, I mean, you got you got to give credit when it's due. Rob played a great game, but the, those receivers as well, man, you got to give credit when it's due. Those guys made some really great big catches, and I'm very thankful for those guys. And and for you, 20 carries, 120 yards, a touchdown. He touched down the fourth quarter. He had a big, I think, 30-yard run earlier in the game. So, you know, when you look back on your performance on Saturday, how would you kind of assess it? Uh, i say my performance, it wasn't enough for surely, but I'm just happy that it was able to be something to where I put the team in the best position to come out with the win. You know, Jalen Madison as well, he had a great game as well. He ran really, really hard. I'm just very thankful to be in the position that I am and to share the backfield with Jalen as well, you know. Um, but I wouldn't say I played a – really good game. I think the guys on the sideline and the coaches and everyone, they really kept me in the game and kept everyone encouraged to go out there and finish the game strong. That's really what it was. And and when Sam was coming out to make that that kick at the end, what, what was kind of the confidence? I see the smile on your face. What was the confidence level on the sideline? Did you know like, oh, we got this? Or what, what were you thinking? What were you feeling in that moment? I mean, like I said earlier on, um, just the confidence that the guys on the sideline brought to us when we were on offense and the, the confidence that they, we brought to the defense when they were on defense. It was the same thing after St. Francis called their last time out before he kicked the field goal. I said to him, I said, hey, go win us the game, baby. Like, and he said, I got you. Don't worry about it, you know. And, hey, he pulled through. He's that guy. We believed in him the whole time. That's why we did what we did, ran the clock down, and the game was on it. The game was on the line, and – we put it all on him, and he made that field goal. We believed in him. We've always believed in him, and he, he pulled through for us. That's awesome to hear all that confidence, and, and and certainly it led to a great result. And I know Coach said after the game that, you know, he thought you guys became a real t- a, a, a real team, a team on, on Saturday, you know, 0-3, going on the road, getting a big win. Um, how, how did the team feel? Did you guys think that, well, you know, this is finally clicking? Uh, For sure. We clicked, on, we clicked on a lot of different levels that throughout that whole game. Um, we all definitely did not play our best game for surely. Like on the defensive end, they didn't play their best game, but they played their they played they played their butts off on the offensive end. We didn't play our best game, but we definitely played hard enough to come out with a victory and on special teams either. So we all have another level that we could tap into, and we all need to get to that level for surely if we want to achieve our goals for the rest of the season for sure. And we we were saying earlier in the show, you know, at this point, who knows in the Northeast Conference? Like you beat St. Francis, Wagner beat you. Every team's beaten everybody. So who knows how this is going to end up? Um, but you look ahead. You mentioned, you know, going one to know each week. So this week it's Merrimack. Last year the game came down to the last drive. You guys had the ball, but kind of ran out of time there at the end. So what's the key to going one to know this week against Merrimack? The key to going one to know this week is definitely starting tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning with lift and then practice. You know, that's one day at a time, one step at a time, every rep in practice, one rep at a time, making sure you're locked in, focused, and practicing hard. Practice the way how you're going to play on Saturday, because if you do that on Saturday, it should be easy for you. 
And that's really what it is. And then going to the game on Saturday, get your mind prepared on Thursday night. Don't even wait until Saturday. You get your mind prepared on Thursday night, which is our model right now. Um, getting your mind prepared early so that when you go into the game, everything is clicking and we're all rooting for each other and everyone in the stands is going to be rooting for us too. It's the mentality, right? You don't win games just on Saturday. You win it you know, during the, all the other days of the week, right? All right, let's go to the final five questions. These are rapid fire. So just give us the first thing that comes to mind, all right? All right, favorite color? Favorite color, blue. Okay, not red? No, nah, I love red too. I'm not. Okay, I'm, there you go. Red. Uh, fav- favorite snack or junk food? Favorite snack or junk food? Probably trolleys. Trolley okay. junk food. Yeah. All right, good choice. Favorite Taylor Swift song? And we ask because we saw on social media, you, you, <laughs> you hit those high notes, you and your bunch of your teammates sing some Taylor Swift songs. Uh, so so what, what's your number one go-to? I say my number one go-to is definitely on um, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. <laughs> Okay, we actually have a clip. We're going to insert it here and, and play a little <laughs> bit of it right now for everybody. Got you. <laughs> and we are never, ever, ever getting back together. We. All right, so there we go. That was Malik and, and uh, doing some singing for Taylor Swift. Uh, never, ever getting back together. Uh, now, back to the questions. If your teammates could describe you using one word or phrase, what would be the one word or phrase they would use? One word or phrase? Oh, man. I really don't know. Um, some might say I'm a hard worker. Some might say I'm goofy. Some <laughs> might say I really don't know. I honestly, I don't. So, but a bunch of different opinions. I guess it depends on who you ask. Yeah, it depends on who you ask. And, and and finally, you know, you you made the decision to come back for for one more year at, at Sacred Heart. Uh, I'm assuming you came back to, to try to win that championship, the cherry on top of the Sunday at the end. So you know, what would it take this year? For you to get that that storybook ending, get that championship at the end, and win the championship this year with Sacred Heart. What it would take, uh, I definitely say it would take all the guys buying in. You know, since like I've been saying since the summer, everyone just buying in, bringing that energy, that juice on the sidelines whenever we play, whoever we play, it doesn't matter who it is. Like just bring the juice, offense, going out there playing hard, no matter who's on the field. Make sure we're clicking on all phases, defense clicking on all phases, literally like putting your life on the line for your brother next to you on the field. That's really what it's going to take and just going one and know every single day and every single Saturday. It was a great first step on Saturday, but as you said, first step, still a long way to go. Lots of season and lots of football left to play. Malik, best of luck the rest of the way to you and the Pioneers. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Be sure to check out our full NEC football on the run show over on the NEC Overtime Pod. It's available wherever you get your podcasts.